the great year. We entered into the age of Aquarius in 2012. And it also is 25,920 years. What is the Son of Man, and why are the Biblical Gospels of Luke, Mark, John, and Matthew so terrified of its return? The Son of Man is the current astrological age of Aquarius, the water bearer. The Son of Man has often been termed the water of life. The Son of Man in man demands his own. His cry is, cease torturing me, cease wasting. Atonement, the action of making amends for a wrong or injury. Planet Uranus, NASA CGI, magically affecting us from three billion kilometers away. The actual wandering star Uranus, filmed with a Nikon P900 home camera. Three billion kilometers away with a home camera? Uranus's journey through Aries is affecting the opposite sign, Libra. The scale pans are wobbling and the balance point is quivering. The Earth's balance is being checked by the mighty cosmic power. Now we understand the real symbolism of this Masonic artwork. In its readjustment, some parts of the earth will go down while at the same time new islands will appear and continents will rise. The whole earth will be purified, restored and refreshed and there shall be a new heaven and a new earth. This will be literally and physiologically true. Plato's description of Atlantis. The Rikat structure in Mauritania, Sahara. Probably just coincidence. The 1606 Mercator Arctic map shows an enormous island called Friesland, due west of Iceland, just south of Greenland's southwest indent. It had six major cities, three small towns, and its own coastal island chain. And a partridge and a pear tree. It was so important to the region that Mercator gave Friesland its own blow-up in the upper map corner. Van Dodecum put Friesland on his 1605 map. Same place, same shape, same name. Plancius put it on his 1605 map. Dijode, 1593, Friesland. Google Earth, 2019, underwater. Due west of Iceland, just south of Greenland, southwest Indent.
Friesland. This is the truth, whether we think of Abel's lamb or of patriarchal sacrifices or of that great sacrifice of which they all testified. They all with one voice tell us that atonement made is the only foundation of blessing. As we discussed in part one, cartographers before the early 1700s all insisted that California was a giant island spanning the length of western U.S. and halfway up Canada. Solarius certainly knew. The highly detailed 1702 Scherer map also corroborates. Unmistakably an island. And now, not so much. In fact, when we look at Africa, we see the exact same thing as the southwest U.S. This time, an elongated blemish with a bulging southeast side, also with major geological desert and destruction to its southwest. But before 1660, it was Lake Zembre on every map. Lake Zembre is always right there due west of the northern tip of Madagascar, just southwest of Lake Victoria. Need more proof? Look at these. All that's left of it today is a huge dry scar on the African continent. Whatever happened in 1660 and 1812 in the age of Pisces that changed entire continents and drained at least two enormous lakes wasn't even worth warning about in biblical scriptures. In Luke 22.10, Jesus told his disciples how to know when he was coming back. Behold, when ye are entered into the city, there shall a man meet you bearing a pitcher of water, Aquarius. Follow him into the zodiac house where he entereth in. In the book of Revelations, we find yet another mythology of a vengeful sky god coming to destroy the wicked before a new golden age can begin. This sky god has eyes of fire, the voice of many waters, and a sword coming out of his mouth. He's the beginning and the end, or really the end and the beginning. With an army of angels trumpeting terrifying noises from the sky as they come down to kill the wicked. Aquarius is associated by Kabbalists with the 14th letter N, or none. This letter literally means Jesus, or fish. In the biblical story, Joshua was the son of Nun, and Joshua is the origin of the Latinized form Jesus. Therefore, Jesus also means fish. It is common knowledge that the fish has been the esoteric symbol for 2,000 years for the Son of Man. But if Aquarius brings in a mighty golden age, why are Matthew, Mark, John, and Luke so terrified of the return of the Son of Man, Aquarius? Cleaning the house involves taking out all of the trash. Bible quotes sound better in the Queen's English. I'll try my best. No one knows about the day or the hour not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. Therefore, keep watch, 
because you do not know the day or the hour. You also must be ready because the Son of Man will come at an hour when you do not expect him. It was the same in the days of Lot. People were eating, drinking, buying, selling, planting and building. But the day Lot left Sodom, fire and sulfur rained down from heaven and destroyed them all. It will be just like this on the day the Son of Man is revealed. As it was in the days of Noah, so it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. For in the days before the flood, people were eating, drinking, marrying up to the day Noah entered the ark. And they knew nothing about what would happen until the flood came and took them all away. That is how it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. Archaeologists uncovered thousands of Stone Age underground tunnels stretching across Europe from Scotland to Turkey, perplexing researchers as to their original purpose. Really? We have modern governments spending trillions of tax dollars on underground cities and complexes worldwide.
built into solid bedrock or deep inside of mountains. We have ancient cultures worldwide not only obsessed with fire gods in the skies, but also the laborious digging out of underground cities and tunnels. While building their most important surface structures high up on solid bedrock, Did they all just get their kicks from creating nearly impossible, highly impractical construction projects? Or were they well aware of liquefaction, mud floods, water floods, earthquakes, and plasma discharge events that made it absolutely necessary? to invest all of that time and hardship to protect themselves when the sky gods came to collect. We are right now entering the grand solar minimum, meaning very little sunspot activity. The sun's four magnetic fields are going out of phase. Only two of its magnetic fields went out of phase the last time. In the Dalton Minimum in the year 1812. The exact year Napoleon's Comet appeared. The New Madrid quakes wiped out five states. Lake Conobus disappeared from maps. And California is no longer an island on maps. The Maunder Minimum lasted 50 years. Starting at 1660, the exact same time period, the island of Friesland disappeared from maps. Lake Zembre Zaire disappears from the African maps, and the Great Lakes appear on the United States maps. What do we say about coincidence? The universe is rarely so lazy. Sherlock Holmes. In part six, the son of man, how does it happen and when do we meet him? Mm.